Hey guys, I'm Lucas and these are my top 10 keyboard shortcuts in KSP. Well, they are not really just shortcuts because many of them can be accessed in another way and if you are anything like me and just don't read the instructions, you might miss out on some. My list is based on the default key bindings in KSP 1.0.5 and a German keyboard layout. I'm not entirely sure if it's the same for everyone, so please keep that in mind. Let's go! Number 10. The translation controls. This might be pretty obvious for the majority, but to be honest, I didn't know it for the first few weeks playing KSP, so I just got used to dock without them. However, they are obviously a big help because using IJKNL, you can push around your yellow marker on the nav ball, like so. If it aims at your target, you fly directly towards it, and using H and N, you can push forward and backward, controlling your speed relative to it. Number 9. Lock staging. I don't really use this one anymore, but I can remember what a pain accidental staging was in the very beginning. Pressing Alt plus L locks it so you can press the spacebar without triggering anything. Notice how the stage indicator light on the lower left changes its color. If you have no problems with that, I think it's still nice to know in case you ever get sabotaged by someone else who just pushes your spacebar to freak you out. Number 8. Fuel transfer. This is also something I didn't use for a long time, but now use it quite frequently. Holding Alt while right clicking two tanks, you can transfer fuel between them to either refuel a docked craft or balance a plane mid flight. If your camera is at the default position, it zooms right into the center of mass, and transferring the fuel, you can see how it shifts. If you remember where your center of lift is, you can always keep your plane in balance, or just change your plane's flight characteristics by shifting dead freight around. Number 7. Trim controls. This is probably mostly used on planes and does exist in reality as well. A somewhat stable plane can be quite difficult to balance to fly straight without control input. It will likely follow a ballistic curve, which pulls the nose downwards. You can of course use SAS for that, but a maybe more elegant way is to trim your controls. Holding the ALT key while steering your nose up shifts the pitch arrow you see in the bottom left corner down. If you now let it go, it will stay in that position and you can balance your plane perfectly. However, if you need a lot of trim, you probably want to fix your plane first, by shifting the wings a little to the front for example. Number 6. Physical Time Warp Yet another shortcut which I haven't known for a very long time, but I use it pretty much all the time now. Not only can you get faster from A to B in the atmosphere, but burns which would have else taken forever can be done in a somewhat manageable time frame. Another use case for me are for example very low trajectories on bodies without an atmosphere like Minmus. You cannot time warp normally below a certain altitude and like this you can get to the ground much more quickly. A very special case are camera shots from probes or stations for example, where I let the SAS hold their position facing prograde. Like this the station stays parallel to the ground and I can record it without having to wait in real time. Number 5. Precision controls. Using RCS can have a huge impact on smaller craft, but also lead to wobbles on stations. The same applies to relatively long rockets when turning during ascent. An easy fix for that is pressing caps lock. If you now pay attention to the control input indicators, which are also on the lower left, they change color as well. Now every control input is applied in a much more controlled fashion, which not only allows you to do more precise movements, but can also save a lot of monopropellant. I use it mostly when I fly planes using physical time warp. Without it, these can get out of control quickly. Number 4. Switch Symmetries Building a plane for example, you typically use mirroring, which means you can only place two parts of the same kind at once, one on each side. However, sometimes you may want to build more ridiculous things, and to make it easier you can simply press R. It stands for radial symmetry as used building rockets, to place up to eight parts at once. Another thing I want to mention at this point, because I mostly use these at the same time, is pressing F. It changes the editor's tools from an absolute perspective to a local one. This gives you a little more freedom when it comes to translating and rotating parts, which I find very handy and also use frequently. Number 3. Smooth Camera Controls This is probably only interesting for people who like to make videos in KSP. There are of course mods for it, but Stock KSP also has some smooth camera controls. You can either use the arrow keys or disable numlock and use the arrows there to rotate around your craft smoothly. If you happen to have a gamepad with analog sticks, you can be even more precise. You can also zoom in and zoom out using the plus and minus keys instead of using your mouse wheel for such an effect. 
As a bonus, holding Alt while doing so, you can change your camera's field of view. As an example, which is frequently used in real photography, you can make the moon appear much larger behind a craft with it. What I also like to do is camera flights around KC from the first screen. You just zoom in, rotate your view and fly around with the arrow keys. Holding Ctrl or Shift, you can even slow it down or speed it up as you like. Number 2. Action Group Control Surfaces Now this is not really a default shortcut, but it also is really important to me, especially when flying planes. Pressing B for example usually just triggers wheel brakes, which is nice on the ground but completely useless in flight. To brake in flight you typically have to use air brakes, but you can also use existing control surfaces to do that as well. Another neat use case are flaps, which are used to increase a plane's lift for a short period of time, mostly during takeoff and landing. All you have to do is to toggle your control surface with an action group. Now to make sure it deploys in the right direction, you can right click it and invert it if it's necessary. And the number one keyboard shortcut for me is Backspace. You may know that one already and I have also mentioned it in some previous videos, but I think it just deserves more attention and everyone should know it. Trying to make a maneuver note, it sometimes happens to me that I accidentally click on the planet behind it and lose focus of my ship. Getting the focus back can be a real pain and I often restarted the entire game in order to do so. Many weeks passed and the annoyance was real. At some point however I hit backspace to get out of the map mode because I typically use it in my browser to go to the previous site. Suddenly my focus changed back to my vessel and I was in heaven. This might be a boring choice for the number one, but I've never felt so happy about a keyboard shortcut. Also when you think about it, outside of map mode it is used to abort the mission and you would probably not dare to click it in map mode. It almost seems as if it was set up to never be found on purpose. Okay, these were my top 10 keyboard shortcuts in KSP and feel free to share yours if you like. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.